Okay, CW fans, we are going to be configuring N1MM or just about any other logging software to be able to communicate with your Elecraft K3 or K3S. Um, either one of them will uh, will apply, and also, you know, you don't have to be using N1MM. The same principles apply. So, when we do the configuration on N1MM, it's probably going to be pretty similar to any other logging software that you're going to use that you want to use to key your radio. Since we talk about CW on this channel, I'm going to be focusing on things you can do to enable you know, CW functionality and make your life a little bit easier. As I've mentioned in other videos, uh, you may or may not have watched the Yezu video on a similar topic on configuring N1MM with your Yezu, but um, same principle applies. Uh, we, we want to try to you know, utilize CW and make things efficient and um, being able to run a contest by having the computer key your radio kind of saves a lot of, uh, a lot of energy and effort. So uh, remember, doing CW is copying CW, not necessarily sending, although sending is an art. So uh, I will admit I'm the first person that is pretty sloppy with sending CW because I have the PC send CW for me quite often. However, I try to send CW as much as humanly possible, especially when I'm mobile. So keep that in mind. Um, always do do some sending because it's uh, it's definitely an art form. But you can see that I've uh, I'm already going to assume that you have your Elecraft K3 already set up and connected to your computer. Uh, there's a lot of documentation out there on how to do that. Um, basically, if you go into your config menu in N1MM, go to the first option, which is configure ports, you'll see that I've got that set up already. It just so happens to be that COM5 is what I have set up, um, what is the COM port for my Elecraft. And you can see that if you go into device manager, you just type in device manager, um, you do the start run command in Windows and you go to ports and this is what it looks like right down here and it looks uh, scary familiar to this one which is another thing that I have plugged in but if you unplug your Elecraft K3 and plug it back in you'll see that this COM5 at least on my computer it's COM5 goes away and comes back so that's how I know it was COM5 but I've got COM5 here I've got the Elecraft K3 which um, there is no K3S, it's the same thing, it's the same data set, so either way it's, it's the K3. And then if you see the settings over here, click on set here, you'll see that I've got the speed at uh, 38400, and I've got it set up as the suggested K3 settings as below. So that's allowing me to have at least, if you can see the frequency up here, and then the frequency on my radio, 10036, as I move the VFO knob. Um, this also changes on N1MF, so it's all good. And maybe I want to change bands. I want to go up to 20 meters. When I change it on the radio, it actually does it on the N1MM also. I can also change it on N1MM, and it'll change the radio. So... Now that we've got that done and established, you've gone 90% of the way. So that's probably the configuration a lot of people have. They want to at least have that connectivity so that their logging program, you can tell in your log, you know, what frequency you are on. You don't have to change it manually and all that, that happy stuff. Now what we want to do is be able to key the radio to do CW. And what we need to do is two things. First of all, we need to go into the radio. So I'm going to switch to the... Uh,
So back to N1MM. If we go into config and configure ports, you're going to see that there's a little checkbox here that says CW or other stuff. If we check that, we want to make sure that so COM5 is going to be the COM port we're going to use to key CW. We have to hit this set button. And if you recall, we're going to use DTR to key the radio because that's what we configured in the radio. I say, hey, you know what? If we're going to use DTR, let's click that to CW. And then let's hit OK. So that's what it looks like. So we've got 38400, so we're able to communicate with the radio. DTR is going to be used for CW. RTS isn't going to be used for anything. And we're going to hit OK, and we're going to see what happens. All right, so I've got my power turned all the way down to zero. And let's test it out. So if we hit F3, which is, it just sends a TU, it works. So that's great. Let's send my call sign. It works. So that's, that's how that works. And it looks like it's keying up. Everything looks good. So now we've got the K3, K3S configured to be able to send CW, and that's what we want. So not super difficult, but I will also show you one thing. If you go to config and configure ports, you'll notice that if you watched the Yezu video, the Yezu video, um, they present two COM ports for the Yezu, you know, for example, for COM5 and COM6. So you have to use two different COM ports, one to control the radio, the other one to key the radio. In with the Elecraft, that is not the case. You can do it all with the single COM port that becomes available to you. You click on CW here, you set it up, make sure that this, you know, you can have the CW use the DTR port, or you can flip it around and you can, you know, use CW with the RTS port. For whatever reason, maybe it's just because it's the first one here. I like using DTR for CW. It does not matter. So I'm just going to hit OK, hit OK, and we're going to have fun with CW. So yeah, um, it's uh, pretty straightforward. I'm going to do a series of videos on this, uh, spotlighting different radios, just so if anyone has any kind of radio, um, at least you know some of the modern stuff that's out there, I'm going to give you some ideas on how to set up N1MM. And of course, these similar principles apply to any other logging software. You know, if you're going to use DTR for keying, there's probably some kind of a function within your logging software that talks about how you key the radio. It's going to be using DTR, for example, and you want to use the same COM port. So yeah, that's uh, that's how that rolls. Um, I think uh, I've got the, the Yaser FT101. I'm also going to be doing the ICOM series radios, the, uh, the 7000, uh, the 7610, and the 7300. They're the same. So I'll probably do that uh, video in a couple of weeks. And um, I'll also be doing the Flex radio. I've got a Flex 6000, I have a 6600 6, that I'll be showing you how to key the, the 6600 using N1MM also. So stay tuned and uh, CW on, my friends.